Yep. So if only the Jets would have waited for uh, Dan Quinn. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not wrong. I wanted Quinn. I wanted Quinn over Bowles. Everybody wanted Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone crazy, except right? Woody Johnson, Charlie Casterly, and Ron Wolf. Had a the three people vision. who mattered. So, you know, going back to Jet coaches, I think that McC- obviously McCagan's going to stay around. He wouldn't mm-hmm. have made the Decker and Harris cuts if he didn't have an assurance that he was going to stay. Because this is, you know, He's got a, a plan. He, he, Some well, type of plan. He thinks he has a plan. <laughs> Let's hope he has a plan. Let's, Let's, Let's hope. Believe yes. He's a, he has, what, $60, 70000000 million in cap space next I th- year? I think it's 80 $80 million oh, in cap great. space next year. Well, he had it his first year and he blew it. Yeah, yeah that's true, too. Yeah. So I don't have too much faith in McCagan in that regard. But I will say this. He does deserve to hire his own coach. I do want him to have the opportunity to go through the process and let him do it himself. If the head coach fails... Then you fire McCagden. We know what he is. If the new head coach is successful, if he's the second coming of Bill Parcells or Weep Eubank, fantastic. McCagden has his head on straight. Mm -hmm. We know what we're we're getting into here. You're listening to Beyond the Game on the voice of Nassau Community College. 90.3 WHPC. I'm Jake Volk. Sitting across from me, Brandon Johnson, Dominic Arbolino. Number to call if you have something on your mind is 516-572-7. Four four zero, and let's get out of New York. The Seahawks signed Cam Chancellor to a three-year extension worth thirty-six million dollars, according to Pro Football Focus. He had a ninety-one point two overall grade last year. Brandon, what do you think of the I deal? I mean, what more can you say from a guy like Cam Chancellor, who is def- definitely one of the backbones to the Seattle defense, the Legion of Boom, as you alluded to, Jacob? Uh, there was a time where he was out for two games, and I think it really made a difference because he sat out because of contract situations, and they were 0-2 during that time. That was the 2015 season. I don't know yeah. if you remember. Yes. I remember and then that. he comes back. They make the playoffs still, regardless they didn't make it any farther than the Super Bowl. They didn't go to the Super Bowl, but still, I feel like this guy right here is a great safety, especially at the strong safety position. Um, definitely a great hitter. Um, not, bad, not bad in coverage, but it's a deal that keeps the team together, which you really want Seattle to do. I think that's the biggest part about it. And Seattle has the lowest points allowed in the NFL since 2012. And I think he's the reason. Yeah, I mean, you got to keep the Legion of Boom together. Yeah. And I mean... I think the craziest thing is is when they like demolish the Broncos in the Super Bowl. Oh the year is at MetLife. Forty three to eight. It people were like, How are the Seahawks gonna keep this team together? You know, I you know. have Russell Wilson, you have Sherman, uh, Thomas, uh Hey Sherman might still be traded. Yeah, no, but I'm saying and then you also at the time you had Byron Maxwell, yeah, so it's like no Bobby leader. Wagner, so and it's Malcolm like, Smith too, yeah, who so won Super Bowl MVP. So it's like what are you gonna Bruce do? Irvin. And yeah. what, what what do they do? They get rid of Byron Maxwell and Malcolm Smith. The guys who right now, what are they doing? Nothing. 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 They're like, it's just like, it's so godly. It's like crazy how they were able to manage this and get it done. Yeah. Yep. It's just unreal. And I believe they still have to pay Wilson. They're yeah. going to still have to pay Wilson. Yeah, they got to so, pay Wilson. But, uh, excuse me, pay Wilson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> trade, <laughs> trade. No. I was like, oh, oh my god, yeah, trade the Jets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh god, that'd be a great first fit, thing man. I thought in my head when he said that. But yeah. you know what? Let me tell you, I'm getting over a cough that I had. I bent over to get my iPad the other day, and I pulled my intercostal. I feel like an 80 year old man. <laughs> I'm 20 years old. I'm supposed to be in the prime of my life. Yes, you are. I feel like an 80 year old man. Oh my gosh, I'm going to walk out of here with a back brace and a cane. <laughs> hey, your mindset said at 20. That's all that counts. <laughs> this is true, too. <laughs> Age is just a number. This is a great deal for the Seahawks. It is. This really was to keep the Legion of Boom together. It was great. And Seahawks are going to be a team to reckon with this year in the oh, NFC. Yeah. They always are, I feel like. You know. The NFC is wide open, but the AFC... Unfortunately, I think the Patriots are gonna have it lock, stock, and Tom barrel. Tom Brady just turned forty-one yesterday. Yep. yep. So come they have on. Garoppolo. I mean, they didn't trade Garoppolo. Yeah, I know. And uh, they, they couldn't get and nothing they still for him. They still have him too. I mean, it doesn't matter. They won the Super. Oh, doesn't matter, Brady. This is all you need to say about the Patriots. And <sighs> yep, exactly. That's and then they also remarkable. They won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yet they got better. They did. How does Stephen Gilmore? I mean, who and else Brandon did they get? Cooks, Brand Brand Coney Ealy, the guy Harris, right? He's on there, right? And David, David Harris, Harris. punch in the gut. All, all, even even uh, Dwayne Allen. I mean, obviously, it's a loss from Martellus yeah. Bennett, but it's a lot cheaper. Not too much. Not too and much. He's and a he's a big little physical Gronkowski. tight end. Uh, what's the and the running back from Buffalo? Gillisley. Uh, Gil- yeah, Gillisley or however he pronounces yes. it. 
So <sighs> I'm done talking about the Patriots. <laughs> I, I can't. I'll, I'll deal with it in February. Let's switch over to hockey. Eleanor, great to have you as always. Hi. So, <laughs> the, hey, Eleanor. The Islanders signed Calvin DeHaan to a one-year deal worth $3.3 million last year. He had 25 points in 82 games. Dominic, what are your thoughts on the deal? Well, I mean, I know that he wanted, I believe it was like $5.5 million, like a year. So it's definitely good in terms of money. You know, they definitely were able to work something out. But, you know, it's only a one-year deal, and he wants something long-term. So, And right now, with obviously the Islanders' concerns on John Tavares, you don't know what they're going to do with him, with DeHaan next offseason. So possibly you could see DeHaan moving on to a different team because, you know, depending on the money they give him. But hopefully I would like to see DeHaan stay an Islander but after this year, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I think getting him for one year was really good to keep the cap space open for Tavares. Oh, definitely. No, of course. And $3.3 million is an overpay for DeHaan, but they had the cap space for it. It was a good deal, I think. You think it was a good deal? Yeah, yeah. so do I. I wasn't going crazy over it, but I wasn't doing backflips over mm-hmm. it either. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I like Calvin DeHaan. Solid top four defenseman. But, again, to give him a huge $5 million a year deal, I would not have done that. And I commend Garth Snow for sticking to his guns and giving him a one-year deal, keeping the cap space open for Tavares. You know what? I might have to give Garth Snow that happy birthday (laughs) shout-out after all. And (laughs) and let him play for his money, you know? It's a one-year deal, so if he wants that money, let him play for Mm -hmm. it. The Hurricanes signed Brett Pesci to a six-year extension worth $24.15 million dollars. Last year, he had 20 points in 82 games. Eleanor, what do you think of the deal? I think it's a little bit of an overpayment, but I don't hate it because the Hurricanes are doing the smart thing and signing all their young defensemen. They signed Jacob Slavin a couple days ago to a, to $5 million a year. Um, I like Slavin. I like him, too, and mm-hmm. I think that you have to lock up your good young defensemen. Um, I think it's a little, it's a little much, money-wise. It is. But, a little, um, it, I wouldn't say a little yeah, much. I'd no, say a it lot is. much. But uh, six years, I think that's good. Um, yeah, I, I, I do too. I didn't have a problem. But they also they still have to resign Noah Hannafin too, who I think is great, another young defenseman. But yeah, I like and Hannafin if Scott Darling lot. pans out yeah. too, they're gonna have to pay him. I know we're not too high on Scott Darling, but if he works out, they're gonna have to pay him. I think him. Hurricanes are on the way up. I think. Yeah, I, I do too. I like what the Hurricanes are doing. Yeah. So the Wild signed Mikhail Granlund to a three-year deal worth seventeen point two five million dollars. Last year, Granny Smith had 69 points in 81 games. Eleanor, what are your thoughts on the deal? I think it's a great deal. I think that he's underrated. Um, I think he's a great, solid player, so I think it's a great deal. Me too. Mm-hmm. Smart, I love very this deal. smart. I've Definitely. always liked Granlin. Me too. I like him a lot. He's consistently gotten better. Yes. Year after year after year, he's developed into a top-line yep. center. Can't ask for much more than that for the Wild. Yep. So, we got about two minutes left. It's time for the bottom of the ninth. Brandon, we'll start oh, with okay. you. Uh, great. I uh, just want to give a quick shout-out to the Nassau Lions football team. They're out there for tryouts right now looking, you know, hardworking. And I didn't get to mention also my Giants uh, training camp is going on, so I'm very excited for this year and everything, you know. What are your thoughts on Giants training camp? Well, you know, it's just it's about building the team. You know, Odell and his contract situation. You know, a lot of people feel that he should be the highest-paid player, highest paid player in the NFL it's kind of hard to say, but uh, I was going to say he's, he's definitely mm-hmm. worth his money. Highest paid wide receiver. That's I'd what agree I was with. about to say. Yeah, of highest course. paid player. No way. I, I saw, think because they see him as an image that he's like a the superstar of the NFL. He's got the highest paid Nike contract. You know, as a player. Oh, he's a great player. So you I know. like Odell Beckham. I have a framed picture of that catch. I, I got the Brandon catch too Carr. signed. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's not on the my catch, room, but I got it, him catching a ball. And, it's on my room. Okay, it's on my bedroom wall. Nice. I love it, Dominic. Uh, honestly, you know, there was football on last night, even though it was only the Hall of Fame Ooh. game, so it's it's nothing crazy. <laughs> but, you know, I'm definitely happy that football is, is officially back. I mean, we got to wait another week for the other preseason games to begin up. But uh, definitely, you know, you got fantasy football starting to kick in. You know, we're trying to start a league here. So definitely, just in the pace of that, and that football's back. Yeah. Count me in, Dominic. I'm going to be in that. Oh, and yeah. Wednesday, the first uh, preseason game is. Oh, it is Wednesday? It, uh, yeah, I'm oh. pretty sure it's Wednesday. Let's see how you guys look. 
Well, Saturday for the Jets. Wednesday. Yeah, Saturday oh, for the Jets. Wednesday for the Jets. Oh, okay, so No, definitely not. No, I have a little over a week to get my hopes up for the Jets that something good may happen and then see him dashed. <laughs> Let's just see how you, you, your backups play, you know? That's what J-E-T-S, it's all about. J-E-T-S, just endure the suffering. Who's the backup? Is it Hackenberg or McCown? McCown. <laughs> I don't know. McCown. It Hackenberg's should be McCown. winning it. It should you. be. I, I, don't, I don't understand. What's going on? Todd Bowles, worst head coach in the league. <laughs> Eleanor? Connor Sheary is a Penguin for three more years and I am so happy they signed Penguins. him to such a good deal three years nine million I'm so happy I like Sherry too yeah. that was a good deal Three for the Penguins. maybe oh, maybe <laughs> no. I can't deal with another summer of this <laughs> no so Ara Parsegian passed away this week was an excellent coach for Notre Dame he was in his 80s I think he was 81 but it was tough to see him go was an excellent coach, deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as another Notre Dame legend, Newt Rockney. All right, looks like we are a bad out of time here on Beyond the Game for Brandon Johnson, Dominic Arbolino, and the true hockey maven. To hell with that other guy, can't say that enough, Eleanor Chompy. I am Jacob Volk saying that beer makes some people happy, but me, I like cashing checks.